Screenwriting is a part. I learned to screenwrite when I was in France, lost on the Riviera, trying to find my way back to the hotel 20 miles away after a party. I presumed that I was going to have to stay in the car and sleep overnight because I just didn't know how to get back and I didn't speak French that well. So what I did was to pretend as though I was an actor and by doing so, it took my mind off of the fact that I was totally lost. The next day I decided I was going to write a screenplay about it because it was such an experience after I found my way back to the hotel. I was on the beach and I started writing the screenplay. Went back to New York, went to the Puerto Rican Traveling Theater and told the facilitator that I was there because I wanted to learn how to write screenplays. Alan Davis is his name and he says, oh but no, this is a playwright group and everyone here writes stage plays. The students though were all actors and they said to him, no, let her stay. We'll teach her how to write a movie. And Alan says, all right, under one condition, and that is that you learn to write to, uh, stage plays here, which I did. I wrote stage plays at the Puerto Rican Traveling Theater. And later, the students who were actors taught me how to write screenplays. I am a sailor who sailed around the world and down to Antarctica a couple of times. Uh, my two favorite places are this, an island group called Chagos in the Indian Ocean because there's no people on it. There's just lots of coconut trees and fish and it's beautiful. And you know, my second favorite place is uh, the bottom of South America, Chilean channels. And that's because it's also sort of a isolated area with glaciers coming down to the water's edge and um, good fishing and giant crabs and beautiful walks through virgin forests. I think that it's our job as creatives to help to document the times in which we live. Um, I think that's what the purpose of art is and it's obviously we're creating our own language and it's a very important form of communication throughout history. I've been dealing with a whole bunch of stuff since I've been home and now I took a screenwriting class because I'd like to write about it. And so I've taken the first one and it was a very, very, very good experience. Um, Professor Noel Jefferson is an excellent um, teacher and she has wonderful experience from New York. And um, I'm really looking forward to the second semester and I hope to finish my screenplay then. I submitted my first screenplay, Robert Redford's Sundance writing contest. Of 5,000 submissions, mine was one of the top 10. Oh, I was so elated that I wrote a second screenplay. That I submitted to the Nichols Fellowship Foundation. It too was awarded a high mark in their overall competition. From there, I just continued to write. Eventually, I took a class with a gentleman, Irv Bauer, who was a professor of screenwriting at NYU. We studied, I studied with him for a year. And then I went to uh, the Hollywood Format, which was the writer's boot camp where I studied for a year. Subsequently, one of my scripts went to the Cannes Film Festival as a trailer, and producers were interested in it. The only problem was, though, that the antagonist was still alive and a serial killer for the mob. Therefore, no one wanted to touch it. I think that what we create is how we leave our lasting energy signature in this world. And she got me to try a new media <laughs> that I thought I was going to hate. <laughs> I don't consider myself a writer, but she's teaching a screenwriting class. And I'm like, well, let me think about like maybe I could do set design or something like that because I'm a visual artist. But definitely in some of my new projects that I've started, taking that class helped to open my eyes to a new way of expressing myself. Everyone's journey, as Michelle Obama said, your journey is your story. 
and everyone has a story. It's just a matter of learning how to craft that story onto paper. And that's where screenwriting comes into play.